get some water in here. Water, hose, that thing. Let's see. Anything here? Nope. Wait, where did I place that bucket? In here, maybe? Nope. Here? Yes, there it is. Uh, bucket, and we need coal. I actually want another bucket. Can I make that? No, I can't. Water over here, yeah. Let's make an infinite source. That's where the two buckets would have come in handy. So let's make the infinite source. Bloop, 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 bloop. Right here. There we go. Let's get the next one. Oh, leaves. Oop, oop, oop. Okay, there we go. Infinite source. Fill you up. Let's get some coal in there. And hopefully. This will work. Are you full yet? Yes, you are. That's good. That's good. Okay, so it's now charging this thing. It's very slowly building up. I think. Power required. It requires speed. Power input back. Okay, so it requires amount of speed. And it has a lot of speed in here. There, that's the thing. It do make does make sound, but that's good. So yeah, this thing will run for a while. I hope I'm doing this right. Ooh, it is using up a lot of water right now. Okay, so it does need a lot more power. How are you doing? You are quickly draining your power. And I don't think you are giving enough power. So let's try to make another one. Let's get a copper on the bottom. There. There's also some silver in there. Let's get some more silver in there. Okay, what else? You can make a thermal. You can make a energy conduit. Is this that one? Electrum hardened glass. I don't think that's the one over, over here. Leadstone. So we need lead, clear or glass and redstone. You can also make it without. No, that's this is the one. Okay, so we need lead. There, two lead. Oh, two lead. Six. You can hear it. It's nice. Okay, um, glass. Do we have some glass? Yes, we do. That should be more than enough. Okay, how is are these things doing? That's fine. Oh, we have the copper right now for another one. Let's get the silver on the bottom. There we go. Uh, are we going to make some wooden gears? No. We can do it also with iron. So let's get this thing. Steam dynamo. There. Oh yeah, we need silver. Here, silver, silver, silver. Let's make a couple, shall we? Yep, that's copper. It takes doesn't take a long time to make copper in this single ingot thingy. It's actually fine if we take it out anyway. 
Okay, let's wait for that one to fill up and then we can hopefully make a couple of them. How much copper is in there? One. Let's get that one out as well. There we go. Okay, let's build some steam dynamos. Oh, we need some more iron. Let's do a block of iron. And a single one right now. Bloop. How far are you? You are going to take a long time, are you not? Ooh, and it's running really low on water. So we might need to make an aqueous accumulator in order to keep them all powered. Let's get my iron. I think we do need that. I think that's that's going to be really handy. Let's see, let's get the iron out, let's get the copper out. I want two more, I think. I Hopefully we still have enough copper to finish all the products. So we need two of these. Ah, damn it, oh well. Silver. Yeah, we have two more. Uh, okay, let's remove you oh maybe we need a range omni nope uh, thermal I think this is the best range you can make the crescent hammer tin and the iron I don't think we have any tin I haven't found any anyway we have one and iron right Iron like this, tin, there, crescent hammer. And then let's do it like this. So, input. Mm. There, good. I think that looks good. We do need a lot more coal, by the way, but. And we are going to need a aqueous accumulator. Okay, it's full. Let's get all the coal we have. There we go. Okay, and then, okay, let's see. So this one will now magnetize this thing. I think it will still take a long time for this thing to magnetize. All the, okay, this, so this one is building up power. That's good, I think. Can we set this thing to... Oh, you don't have an input or output set up. That's fine. Okay, so we are saving... We're not already not using that much energy. That's. I think that's good. It will take a while for this thing to load, but that's fine. So we can place the grinder down, like so. And eventually, once it's magnetized, we can run this thing. And then we can grind the silver and stuff. That's cool. Wait, can this thing power this thing? How much do you need? You need a quiet power of 496 and a torque of 128. No idea if that's enough. I'm not that really, really that familiar with this mod. I don't think it's enough. Oh well. I'm curious to see how long it will take for this thing to magnetize it. It is working, right? Yes, it is spinning. I think it should be working. Okay, let's get the aqueous accumulator. Aqueous accumulator. That's the one. Let's get this thing. You only need one for now. We need a tin. Ooh, yeah, we do have some tin. Machine frame. Ooh, you can use the H HSLA. That's nice. A bucket right there. What are we missing? That, 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 bucket. What's the last thing? Oh, right, the tin. Ooh. Ah, oh, no, you can't middle mouse click. Okay, whatever. 
Let's remove as removes what you just made. There we go, and then we just need a fluid duct, which is glass. Oh no, uh, which is lead and copper. We don't have. I don't know if we have any lead left. Nothing in there. We have a lot of lead. Okay, that's cool. And we also need copper. We do have copper. That's fine. How long would it take to magnetize the thing? Come on, hurry up. Maybe I can find it right here. Hmm. Okay, it says it, need a, it needs a clock as well. Is that true? Maybe it needs it right there. I don't know. Requires an AC, redstone current, and high speed. Hmm. Maybe it requires just a lever of some sorts. Wow, I'm a big noob. It keeps saying operation time and then stops. Or maybe this thing needs it. No, I don't think that one needs it. Maybe it gets does not get enough power. So for instance, if I keep on charging this thing, no, it won't charge. It will immediately use its power. Okay, it's off now. No, it's not off. Seems like it's off. Yeah, we gotta remove this thing. Yeah, okay, so it's it's okay, that thing is charging. Wow, it's it's it uses its energy in no time at all. Okay, so let's just keep this thing charged. Mm, keep it keep it charging. We are going to attach this one and place a magnetized core in there. And then we're just gonna wait for this thing. So let's get a lever to fully charge. And then once it's fully charged, we just let it rip. Okay, what were we making? We were making this one. Oh yeah, and we were making lead. Lead on the bottom. Boop. One lead should be enough, by the way. There we go. Okay, so now we need another bucket. Ah, there, we still have one. And we are going to place a infinite water source on this side, connecting them engines. So we're gonna connect it like this. No water, see, that's a problem. That's going to be a problem. But we're already fixing it. Woo -hoo. So let's see, let's get it. A small water source right here. There. Oh. Wow, it didn't work for some reason. Oh. Stranger. There we go. Get a bucket and then expand this thing. It's now creating all infinite sources. There we go. Aqueous accumulator in the middle. And then we need to fluid ducts. Let's start on this side. 
There we go. Okay, so they have now enough water. How are you doing? Okay, how much do you think we need? Shall we just try it? Is it not charging? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, let's turn it off again. Hopefully this, this is how it works. I have no idea. We shall see. Let's remove you. Oh no, wait. We add the clock. We add that thing. Okay, uh, so what are we going to do next? Let's see, we now have power. <laughs> uh, I'm curious to see. I really want this thing to work as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Okay, guys, let me just clean a little bit up and try to make it look a little bit better. So I'll see you guys in a moment. We need to go for the red sun energy conduit. So that's why I made the fluent transposer.